Hello, Paul from Foil Drive, and today I have a, an update about propeller bolts. So, as with Foil Drive, we try to be as responsive as we can and as open as we can with all of our customers because uh, we're all in this together and no product is 100% perfect. It's what you do about it that counts. So we have seen that certain people are breaking the original propeller bolts and we're going to go into why and what we can do about it. But we're also here to announce today that we have had machined up custom made stainless steel 316 bolts. They are not a mass produced bolt like we've been using they are literally a cnc machined part so that we can get absolute maximum possible strength and rigidity but they can also be tailored to fit the purpose that they're designed for even better so we're going to go into that in this video stick around okay so this is a close-up shot you've got the sort of normal propeller bolt and there are some instances where they used to have a smooth shaft for a period and then the thread but effectively the main difference between this and this is not only is this machined as opposed to mass produced and much stronger, but you'll notice there's this little sort of shoulder section right after the head. This is super important. This shoulder actually fits into the injection molded housing where the bolt actually goes through this hole there's a shoulder inside of this part that is necessary in its order to get the heated insert into. It's just the way that thing's made, it's necessary. So this head presses up against the outer diameter of that. This shoulder presses up against the internal diameter of that hole. And then you've got this pure shaft all the way through which the propeller bolt spins on. And then the thread goes into the insert. So that's the main fundamental differences. They might look similar, but they are actually radically different in approach, material and strength. But it is very important to remember that this shoulder is on these new bolts. These will be sold in packs of three and they are purchasable as an upgrade. They will also be coming with future three bay hubs from standard. I will stress that there are thousands and thousands of these units out in the world and the majority of people have never broken a bolt. But there are some people that are snapping the original propeller bolts or having issues with them in their unit. So some of the issues people are having, and the irony is we couldn't find a single hub in the shop that is sticking. But every now and then, if your blades are folding up and backwards, if you're flicking the prop like this, if a blade stops and stays in place and doesn't want to flick out at the same rate as the other propeller blades, that will cause vibration. And when that motor tries to spin up and eventually this blade becomes unstuck with centripetal force and it comes whack out really aggressively, that can shear bolts because it's quite an aggressive and violent action when the blade flicks out. So there's a few things. One, some people have their bolts too tight, so they've tightened them up too much, and a simple relaxing of the bolt can make it flop freely. Two is you may have over tightened it at some point and physically pulled the heat, heated insert in the hub out. So if you look carefully, these heated inserts should be pushed flush with the face of the injection molded part. If it's been pulled out, you want to reseat that back in. You can do that with a soldering iron, heat it up, push it on the heated insert, wait for it to heat up and it'll actually sink back in and let it cool. But what we have found having done more and more research into this and talking to customers and getting some hubs back is we have found that this little cap that goes on top of the injection molded hub again it's injection molded is sometimes there's a little tiny little plastic ridge it's, it's almost you can barely see it that's very thin and when it is screwed down with the center screw i'll use this one as an example we've found that some people uh, have done this up excessively tight and they've pulled this down so far that when the blade tries to fold back, 
this hub section of the blade actually gets jammed up and underneath this tiny little lip and it sort of sticks. So a solution to that is you can sometimes just back it off half a turn and then you pull on the center sort of star a bit and if it then flicks in and out freely, you've solved the problem. So that's one way to fix it. What we've found out is as a, a better solution if any of your blades are sticking when it's flapping up and down is, is you can just get like a rule or something that's like got a, a sharp edge, not a knife, it's dangerous, but a ruler or something like that. And you simply put it in here and with a bit of force, just scrape it two or three times, that's about it. What that's done is it's just taken off this tiny little lip of plastic and then if you were to then check that propeller again, you'll probably find it flops in and out perfectly. These new propeller bolts are definitely an upgrade and improved part and product, which will increase the overall strength. But it's important to remember there's no point in increasing in strength alone if there's another fundamental little issue that's causing the blades to not fold in and out symmetrically. The two bladed hubs don't seem to have a problem. It's the three bladed hubs that we're having the issue and I think that's more related to them sticking and not coming out due to the reasons we mentioned before. But I'm gonna show you a little tip if you want to try and use the new bolts in the two-bladed hub. Okay, so I've just tried to put one of the new propeller bolts in the two-bladed hub and you'll notice the head is sticking out here. That's because this shoulder, this shoulder piece is pushing into the plastic. So if you're in the metric world, it's a four mil drill bit. If you're in the imperial world, it's 532, five slash three two. And if you were to put it in the side that the bolt goes in and just slowly drill out that hole. I've now drilled the hole out, taken a little bit of plastic out. And if I was to put this bolt in and do it up, now the shoulder can press into the hub and go all the way in. So you can see that is now flush that has not been drilled and is not flush. So you can also tell that the thread is still exposed on this one, which means it's barely engaged. And the one that I've just drilled, there is no thread showing it is fully engaged. So if you're using the new propeller bolt, there's one thing you need to remember. The original ones with thread on the shaft, despite them being weaker, they do come with the added benefit that these grooves actually provide a way for the salt water that gets stuck in here to be flushed out when you wash it because there's cavities all the way along this thread. When you go to a pure shaft design, which is significantly stronger, it doesn't actually have a self-flushing function. So please remember from time to time, if your propeller blades feel like they're sticking or getting a little bit grabby, undo the bolts, wash your system out to get rid of any salt crystals that get trapped between this surface and the inner surface of the bolt shaft because over time those crystals can build up and create friction. The last thing is you just want to make sure at every session you go out just make sure your bolts are tightened up and nipped up and in place. These new machined stainless bolts do actually come with a small amount of a blue uh, Loctite type product so that when you screw them into the hub, there's a friction there that helps try to lock tight them in, not permanently. It's more of a uh, retaining compound that just adds friction. So between the new machined bolts and those four little tips and tricks to check into your hubs, you'll probably resolve all of your propeller bolt woes if you're having those issues. If you're not having those issues, continue foiling.